What's up, all the Power Ass crew? Today's video, well, let me ask you a question. Do you have a dead temperature gauge? Or is your temperature gauge just uh, flutter every time you hit a speed bump, it flutters or something? Is it doing weird stuff like that? Well, today I'm gonna show you guys how a quick way to diagnose, is it the wiring or is it the gauge? If this is the first time you hit Power Ass YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do DIY videos to help you solve your car issues, motorcycle issues, Jeep issues, that saves you money. So you might want to subscribe to this channel because I got some good stuff. Hit that subscribe. Now let's get on with the video. Got up on my fender right now. We're going to zoom down here and we're going to find that little sensor for you. And it is right there. Here's your throttle cable. Right down below it on the back side of the head right here. So we need to get back here. So pull this out of the way. Pull, trying to give you guys a better view. Now you see it right there at the end of my thumb because it's relatively new, so you see a little shiny spot. Okay, again, I'm going to pull back so you guys get a better look. My nasty valve cover here. Back into the valve cover. Zoom back down here. And there it is. See that little shiny spot? That's the sending unit or temperature sending switch or whatever anybody wants to call it that controls your gauge. So what we're gonna do, I'm trying to do that through the viewfinder. That's not working, so I'm gonna reach down here. And it's only a one wire, as you see here. So we're just gonna unplug it. What we've got rigged up here is a piece of wire. Here is our wire coming off the sending post, right down there, the sending unit post, temperature sending unit, whatever you wanna call it. There's that wire, so I took a little tiny alligator clip stripped some wire back, stuck it up inside there, took the alligator clip, clipped it to that, then I run it to ground right here. So now we have that wire grounded to our engine. So now we go inside the Jeep, we turn the key, and watch the gauge go doing. Now that we have our wire grounded to the engine, well, let's turn the key and see what happens. Doing. Doing. Ain't that just entertaining? So the gauge goes full tilt when it's grounded to the engine. What is that telling us? That means we have a good circuit coming from the sending unit to the gauge that tells us also that we have a good gauge. So if we got good gauge, good wiring circuit out to the sending unit, what else is left? Just that little tiny sending unit, more than likely it needs to be replaced. As you can see, each time I take the wire and touch the alligator clip, the gauge will jump. So by hitting ground with this wire right here, indicates that that wire, which goes inside that loom, which goes back inside to your dash, to your gauge, telling you this circuit and your gauge is good. So we have good circuit, good gauge. And if your gauge is going berserk and nuts, right there's your culprit. Change that baby out right there. There you have it. Easy way to diagnose whether it's a temp gauge, is it wiring, or is it a sending unit. Easy diagnosis. Notice when I grounded the wire that the gauge went over. I ungrounded the wire, the gauge went back. Grounded the wire, the gauge went over. That's opening, opening and closing a circuit. Whenever I touched the wire to the ground, I closed the circuit, the gauge went over. Whenever I opened the circuit, the gauge went back. Closed the circuit, gauge went over. And the reason I'm going over that, I'm going to release a video here pretty soon on basic, on basic electrical principles that's explaining opening and closing circuits. Okay, sweet. So I hope you guys learned a little something from that video and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and leave some cool comments down below. And I appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.